Hello? Hey. No, I'm glad you called. I know. I think we need to talk. You know what I mean? Just air some things out. What about... Oh my... What the heck are you doing? You scared the crap out of me. Oh my god, what are you doing? What is that? What the hell? You with the Bureau Academy? Yeah. Come with me. All right, you bunch of losers. Five minutes till debriefing. I mean five minutes. If you're late, I'm locking the damn doors. Follow me. Um, this is my file of awards and letters and my test scores. And uh, I'm the highest ranking student in my class. Really? Yeah. Keep it. Nobody cares. So, now that we have our third body in the killer kite strangulation case, we all know what that means. Yeah, it means that the media can count. Oh, shut the hell up. Damn it. <clears throat> we have a guest, Captain. Somebody we need to know. Since we have three murders now, this has officially been called a classified serial killer case by the Bureau. So, now we have an agent. Well, future student agent of the Academy, Jane Clark. Why is that, Captain? Budget cuts? She's from the FBI Leadership Academy. And if you guys would have been just a little bit more on top of your game, we would have already solved this case and we would have made a damn arrest. Now, I want you to do everything you can to assist her so that we can let this homicide department fix this damn problem before there's another corpse. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of folders there, James. He scared me. Really? They don't teach you how to take breaks at the academy anymore. <laughs> no. No, we don't take breaks. I've been working 24-7 trying to solve this thing. Yeah, the person who's responsible for this is smart, professional, and has a good, very good understanding of how we operate. But most of all, he or she is excellent at covering kids with her tracks. Wait, she? You think the killer's a woman? Why not? All the sewing of the kites, all the attack on the pretty girls. Can I make you a cup of coffee? Oh, please? Uh, let me guess. Uh, black. No cream, no sugar. Good. Very good. Well, we'll see how good I am when I solve this case before you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. A little healthy competition, huh? Mm -hmm. That's great. It's like I let it go. He's really curious about the case. He and I were thinking that the killer's So I guess they didn't teach that class at the academy? How to know you were being hit on by a charmer? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. We have a development. We have a letter from the kite strangler. Ah, the old uh, Jack the Ripper move, antagonize the police. Nice. The actual copy is still with forensics. He wants money to stop. And the crazy shit about it is the mayor wants to give it to him. No way. What'd you say? For once in my life, I was speechless. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, so what the hell does this all mean? Oh, you think one of us wrote it? That, that we would do this? Of course one of you wrote it. But that doesn't mean that you're the killer, perhaps. Just an opportunist. So you took home economics in high school. You're really gonna knock this shit off, Rob. Come on. How long have we been working together? 15 years, Lindsay. All right, this is outrageous. Are you gonna answer the question? You're gonna be a hostile witness. Like every woman my age, I took home economics, yes. Good, so you can sew. No! It's no secret that you have a certain frustration towards younger women in the office. Hey, Lindsay, what'd you think? You're gonna blackmail the city and get away with it? Okay, that's enough, Rob. Seriously, you have nothing on her. Really? Yeah. According to Jane's intelligence report, the letter came from your computer and your printer. From Lindsay. Yeah. Fuck you. How do you think it's going? You should do your homework, student. That's my wife. Jane. 
witnesses say that you had an altercation with them. It's not. She thought. You should have come here. You're a petite blonde. The killer's tight. You must want to go back to the cat. This is awful. East Forest Lakes Drive, Kansas City, Missouri.